What's up, y'all? It is Vinnie Mac. Welcome to the Vinnie Mac Gathering of Thoughts. But a special edition. Why? Why is it a special edition? Because I just got back from the Gathering of the Juggalos, baby. It's an experience I will never forget. And this is why I'm doing the show right at this moment. And this is the most fun I ever had and ever since I started going to the gathering. This is my second gathering and the best one yet. And on this episode, I'm going to tell you all about it. And the first thing I want to tell you all, I did dress up as Vinnie Mac Mysterio. And that's why I brought the belt to the show. And um, I didn't win, but I had so much fun that day. And um, I'm going to tell you all about it in a little bit. But... There's so much to talk about. So um, let's get straight to it, shall we? Uh, can you take this belt for me? Take that belt. You, uh, can you cash? Damn you. All right, y'all. Let me go through the list here. So um, let me get everything all situated here. There is so much to talk about. So I'm going to go. So I'm going to start with the merchandise and the shout outs, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is shout outs. This right here. This is the um, Deck One Delt flyer that I just got from the gathering. And they're doing some cartoon shirts, like um, cartoon characters, and turning them into uh, Juggalo Joker cards. You should check these guys out. And um, these guys, the, these guys are my brothers, and I give them so much love and support for their, um, for their podcast. So, look, crap, what is wrong with me? You think I should smoke some weed? Are you telling me to smoke some weed? I'll do that in a second. I'll do that in a uh, second. So here is Deck One Delt, and these guys are my brothers, and I love them so much, I'm giving them a shout-out. So Deck One Delt, shout-out from Vinnie Mac. Whoop, whoop. i got to give you guys some love. All right, so here's the book. And it's got all of my, um, all the stuff that I've done. So I wrote all about it. So I'm going to be telling you guys about my experience this year. So Von J and Shaggy Tudo was very happy to sign my book. So thank you, um, Insane Clown Posse, for signing that for me. And I love you guys for it. So um, that's the first thing of the merchandise that I just got right here. So um, I gave the shout out to my boys. And I showed you guys the book. So um, I'm going to show you some merchandise. And um, I don't know if you know how big of a fan I am with Whitney Payton. So I went ahead and I bought I bought a, one of her CDs. And um, I bought one of her, uh, her shirts, which I'm going to be showing in a little bit. But first, I want to show off the posters that I got from her. Here's one of the posters that I that I got from the bundle. So they um, she was um, having a, a three bundle sale for the posters. So I went ahead and bought all three of the posters. Here's the second one, and this is the one that I like so much. I support independent music. I definitely do. I I support all of the music in the Juggalo world. And I just love it. And here's the one I love the most. And don't hurt me. So if anyone um, ever... Uh, so don't hurt me for saying this, but this is my all-time favorite picture of Whitney Payton. Just look at her laying on the ground with her feet on the chair. Oh, my goodness. She's got a killer body. She's... She's extremely beautiful, and I love her, and I don't know what else to say, but I'm in love with this woman. But I know that she's in a relationship, or she's not, or whatever. She's just extremely beautiful, and I love her. So I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I got from um, when I got to meet in St. Quan Posse in person. I got a magnet, a Gather of the Juggalos magnet, and it's pretty cool. I love it. Um, the other thing I got is, um, I got some stickers from, from a company that was, um, making some random stickers and they were given to me at the gathering. So I just put them in the bag for whatever. 
Here's my VIP pass that I got to me and St. Clown Posse. So that's my VIP pass. And uh, the other things I got is a flash drive of Insane Clown Posse. So that is a real flash drive inside this um, container or the box or whatever, whatever we should call it. And uh, the last thing I got is um, I got a, a charm. And on the back it says um, Insane Clown Posse's VIP experience, 23rd, I, mm, 23rd Gather of the Juggalos event. 2023, so that's right there. So um, I got that, and here's my wristband, a proof that I was actually there. So I kept the wristband on for all week. If I would have taken it off, I would have been kicked off. So I kept it on all week. And in this bundle, uh, in this package right here, it was all my posters, all the flyers I gave out, and this is what it looked like that I was giving away from the Gathering of the Juggalos. And since we're, um, since the gathering is all over with, so everywhere I go, I'm gonna be leaving out some flyers to other people to, to subscribe and follow and all that shit. So, I actually have a feeling that you guys are ready to see the merchandise that I got. The shirts, the jerseys, whatever. Here's one of them. Here's the Gathering of the Juggalos um, jersey right here. And um, I'm gonna take this down. So here is the um, the guy on the Juggalos, and it's got Gathering 23 right here. And this is a 2x, so it was freaking huge on me. So that was the only size they got left on this jersey here. So I got a 2x with that one. So let me show you the other shirts. Here's my Whitney Payton shirt. That's what I got from her. So that's one of my brand new shirts that I got from the gathering. All right, let me set it to the side. And here's my brand new Juggalo hoodie. This is my Juggalo hoodie. Let me fix it up real quick. I gotta fix this up. Come on, you fucker. Get back on there. All right, there we go. Here we go, I'm good. All right, so this is my Juggalo hoodie. And it is really cool, and um, I can't wait to uh, wear it underneath the black light and um, and let that juggalo uh, that juggalo lettering shine. So that's what I'm hoping for for that. <laughs> so, and here's my um, other one. It's got Insane Clown Posse on there, and um, and on the back it's got Wicked Clown Seventeen. So I really love this jersey, so um, I'm definitely going to be wearing this for special occasions. So I really like this one a lot. This is really nice. Now, this is the gathering jersey I can actually wear now. This is an extra large, and it's just got the, um, it's got the hatchet man with the, with the, with the gun. And it looks like that he's playing as an alien or whatever it is. But this is the theme of the gathering. So this is the logo theme. And it's got gathering 23 in the back. So this is the one I could definitely wear. But this one right here is a little too big. This is 2X. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But I know I'm going to be collecting it big time. So I'll be collecting it. So let me put the shirts back where they belong. So we can continue. Okay. Get it right over here. Get that. Put that right here. There we go. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. So I got away with the, the merchandise and the shout outs. So I got to meet some great people. And um, you guys can see the photos that I'm sharing right now. These people that I just met, they are just freaking awesome. And I'm very happy I got to meet them. And, um, and especially the Juggalette that I just um, that I met there, she was sweet. She was um, she was really nice, and um, she just came up to me and just said hello and and asked me to come underneath the tent because she was badly burnt. She needed some shade, so um, she came right in right underneath the tent, and um, we got talking a little bit. And I gave her a flyer, and I had an opportunity to get a photo with her. So um, that meant a lot to me. 
and Dick Wendell, I got to hang out with them pretty much almost the entire gathering. And these these guys, these brothers of mine, they're just um, – I just had so much a great time hanging out with them, and I love them, uh, I love them so much, like my brothers. And um, I support them, they support me, and they love me, and I love them. So um, that's pretty much what the gathering is pretty much all about, meeting these new people – um, these jugglers and jugglers all around the world, and you get the chance to get to know get to know them a little bit, and um, they're just nice people, and that's the type of jugglers I would love to meet. Is um, they just give you nothing but respect and love, and and they treat you like um, what you would like to be treated, and and I just love that with the juggalo family, and that's why I say that I am blessed to be part of this family. I am very blessed. Of being these type of people and being part of this community, because um, almost my entire life I feel like I was pretty much nothing, like like I'm too ugly to hang out with them and I don't fit in and all that other shit. And um, but when I joined to the Juggalo community to make a life changing choice, and I made this choice like four years ago, and um, it just changed me. It just changed. And if, so everyone that I ever met, and when they shout out whoop whoop, and they give you hugs, and just giving you so much respect and love, it just, the, the Juggalo Nation just shows me that, that I appreciate it, that, that I'm welcome here. They, they make you feel welcome, and that's what the human world just hates us so much. Because we're different than them, and we're a whole lot better than them. And in St. Claude Posse wants us to find God. They want us to find God and do the same thing. They, God wants juggalos like us just love one another like he did. He loved us all, and he gave us respect and love, and that's what I love so much about the juggalo nation. I love it. And... Um, and I'm really happy I got to meet these great people, and and this is the most fun I ever had. Like, it's very hard to describe. It's it's an atmosphere that that it was a life changing decision, and it means so much to me. All right, so um, there's some music that that got my attention, and I would like to share some of the little bit of music with you guys. So this will be the first time that I've, me doing this is sharing some music that just got my attention. Because there are bands that I did not heard of in the Juggalo Nation, the Juggalo world. So um, the first band that I want to share about is the band called The Six. And, um, and I'm going to tell you guys all about them while um, I play one of their songs. Uh, one of their songs got my attention and, um, and I started liking them ever since. So, it only takes one song for me to become a fan of a band. And I hope it's not a bad thing. And uh, I hope it's not a bad thing. So, I'm going to play one of their songs. And this song is called Pig by The Six. So, I um, hope you guys will like the, the sound of that. And uh, I'm just going to talk while um, I have the song playing. But I got to tell you, this group of guys, when they came on stage... And they were about to perform this song in this part right here. That just got my energy up, and I just loved it so much. They were so hyped. They were jumping on stage. They were just so entertaining on the, on the stage, and they just did a tremendous job on stage. And, and this is the one song that I like so much, and uh, they were just so dang good. So, um, I don't know what type of guy that I like so much. I think I like the bigger guy a whole lot more because he just had so much energy on stage and every single member of this band, they were so hyped and they got the crowd going on and just, it's really hard to describe, but I just love this song ever since seeing them performing this and they just did a hell of a job on stage they just that uh, they just they kicked ass on stage they kicked ass and i really liked it and um 
There's another band that um, caught my attention was, um, let's see here, uh, what did I have on my list? What do I have on my list? Oh, uh, uh, Ouija Mac. Ouija Mac. Um, there was a couple songs that just, uh, I loved him ever since um, I started liking In St. Clown Posse. And he was the second artist that I listened to at the Juggalo um, family. And um, there was um, two new songs that I heard, and it was my first time hearing these songs. It was my first time. And um, and please don't laugh about it, all right? Don't laugh or anything like that, because I'm just being for real right now. I'm being for real. So uh, there was a couple of songs that got my attention. And, um, well, actually, let me, um, let me hold off uh, Mr. Mac real quick. Let me hold him off. But this artist right here, Kung Fu Vampire, there was one song that touched my heart. One song. And it was called No More Bad Days. And man, this man just, this, this artist just, he had the voice for it. And every single word in this song, it just touched my heart. And I would like to play a little bit of this song. And, um... And it's called No More Bad Days and um, uh, Confo Vampire. He just he just touched my heart after listening to this song. And while he performed this, everybody had their arms just like this. They were waving back and forth, and I just loved it. And um, this is this should be the theme song for all the Juggles and Jugglets out there that are just having downfalls. They had. Heartbreaks, breakups, um, they've been betrayed, abused, or anything like that. And it just gives us an opportunity to change all that. Just escape from all the negativity and just just love one another and just get yourself back up and get out there and make a change. Because I made the change. If I can change, you can change. And this is what's special about the song, and if you ever get a chance to listen to it without me talking and all that, you just got to listen to every single word of this, and I'm going to let this go by right here real quick, so listen to this. And no more bad days. Do you see how special? Do you, can you feel it? It just, it just touches my heart by hearing that that chorus. And that's what's special about the song. And I just, I just love it. And I became, I became a fan of his right after that song was played. Um, after he got done performing that song, I became a fan of that. Of that song big time and um he did a tremendous job on it and that's my theme song for a little piece of my heart is no more bad days and that just touched me instantly so um check out his music Conf um confo vampire however we pronounce his name look him up listen to his music and especially this song no more bad days and it would touch you it it would change your life it would it would change your feelings around. Okay, um, the two songs that um, that touched my heart with uh, Ouija Mac is um, Get a Life and Broken. That is, um, and also Killing Spree. Those three songs of um, Ouija Mac, um, Killing Spree is something that I actually feel every single day with all the haters and all the people that disrespect me and everything and don't even like me for some random reason or whatever, or childish reason. I just feel like going on a killing spree and just kill every single one of them and don't have any haters in my life. Um, it, that's just how I feel inside, and that song just tells all about it. And also Broken. Broken is one of the songs that I feel inside my heart that I feel ugly, I don't feel worth it, and I'm not good enough. And Mr. Matt just gives me an opportunity to lift myself up when hearing, um, seeing him perform Broken. And also get a life. I could tell everybody with all the haters and all the, the trolls, the, the scams and all that, 
Just get out there and get a life. Don't uh, don't ruin my life. Just do yours. Just um, get a life, y'all. That's all I can say about that. And um, and the other artist, um, and I already told you about her and uh, Whitney Payton. But the, uh, I love the entire concert. I love the whole performance. But the one that just got me blown away was one of the songs that I had not heard of. It was my first time hearing it, and I loved it ever since, and I feel like playing it right now. And um, I'm going to tell you about her a little bit. And um, how it all started was that she was begging for a pit. She was begging for it, and, um, and she made it happen. And... Um, I just loved this song ever since I first heard it at the gathering, and everybody was hyped, I was hyped, and I loved it, and um, this girl's got talent, and um, and I love her so much, and I love her personality, she's got a badass personality, she has an amazing smile, and right when I first met her, when I met her at the gathering, all I can say is I was in love. I wish that I had a girlfriend like her. I wish I had her in my life. But I have her music. I have her music in my heart. And whatever she does in her life, like performing, going on tour and everything, I told her that, um, that she's doing an amazing job of what she does. And I support her and I love her. So she was, she was so freaking awesome. And um, I loved her performance so much. I just loved it. And um, and the other thing that uh, so um, so I done the music already. So um, let's talk about the the net game. And man, this event. This is my first time watching it. And. There is one lucky juggalo that got on stage, and he gets to pick from five juggalettes. But it started off with um, with the host, Clown Elvis. He was the host, and um, he picked five juggalettes from the crowd. And the juggalo had to stay backstage. He can't even see them or anything like that. He couldn't even meet the juggalettes at all. So um, if I was part of this game, um, <laughs> dang, um, this is probably something I might have to do one of these days. I might have to do something like this. And uh, a few juggalos suggested of me doing something like that, doing um, the netting game with uh, five juggalettes or three juggalettes, whatever. And um, it was very interesting. So um, the juggalo gets to sit down and he gets to ask 10 questions to these five juggalettes. And by the end of it, he has to make a decision and... He has to pick one of them out of the five and win to date or earn a relationship or whatever. But during that event, it was a date. So um, it was pretty cool, and I really enjoyed it. So now, would you guys would like to know how my experience was? So I am willing to share with you guys of how my, my, um, my experience went. So let me find the paper that, um, that I wrote all over. All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you all about my experience, and then we're going to call it the end of the podcast, okay? So you got to hear, um, you got to see the merchandise. I gave a shout-out to Deck One Dell because those are my brothers, and they're my boys. And, um, and also to all the friends that I've met and all that, I want to thank you all for meeting with me and getting a photo with me and hanging out. It was fucking awesome, so thank you very much. And you gave me the best gathering yet. My second experience is a whole lot better than my first. And um, meeting people was the number one reason because on the first gathering, I hardly met anybody. But I fit in I fit in, in the atmosphere and in this community, and I loved it. But I was hoping to do a lot more, but I didn't because um, I didn't even hardly know anybody. So um, my second experience was a whole lot better, and I love it. I love it, and I'm looking forward to going on 2024. So I'm crossing my fingers that hopefully there'll be a 24th down at the Juggalos next year. 
And um, with all the music that I shared, I hope you guys enjoyed um, listening to a little bit of the music that that just hit me right inside. Like the six, Whitney Payton, Insane Clown Posse, Luigi uh, Mac, all those guys. And um, I just had to... I just love their music. I loved it. And um, they're awesome people. And I am very blessed to be part of this family. So let's get right to the story. And um, all right. So July 5th, this is all I did. I drove from Dayton, Ohio to the gathering. And uh, right before I got to the gathering, I took a little short break. And I went to a restroom, restroom area, the rest area that, that you can find in the interstate. So um, I stopped there just to stretch my legs and take a restroom break because it was about an hour and a half drive for me. So I did that, and right before I left, I had myself a can of Snickers iced coffee. Who doesn't drink Snickers iced coffee? You got to try it because it tastes just like the candy, so you pretty much might like it. And that's what I said on my, um, on my um, story here. It was very good, and it tasted just like the candy bar. So, I arrived at the gathering around 9 a.m. in the morning, oh. so that's how long I was there. And um, I took a tour around the park, and it was Legend Valley. That's where the gathering took place, so I just looked around all over the area. Uh, the campsites, the where everything was at, so I just took a tour. And the first thing I did was, um, right when everything opened up, I went to the merchandise tent, and I got... A few jerseys, and it was the um, this jersey right here, and also the Juggalo hoodie. That was the first two things that I bought from the merchandise. So uh, the other things, it was bought a little bit later. So I'll be getting straight to it. I got to meet some fans in person, um, made some new homies, and I enjoyed some awesome music. And um, I watched some movies in the the Mad Movies tent for at least two to four hours. And you probably might be asking why. Because the air conditioning, <laughs> pretty much the air conditioning pulled uh, pull down from the hot weather. Um, and I got to see um, the six, um, Kung Fu Vampire and Dropout Kings rock off the stage. Um, they, each of those groups just rocked the stage and I loved it. And I got to see Juggalettes take their clothes off in the, the, moon, uh, the moon glorious party. And I got to tell you, they were showing off their exotic dance moves. And they were just taking their clothes off, just showing it all off. So I got to, I got to see some, um, a lot of boobs. I got to see a lot of boobs. And that made me happy, really happy. I got to meet St. Quan Posse. And I told them I was looking forward to their performances this year. And... Um, they looked at my personalized Juggalo Nation jersey, and they loved it. And Shaggy, uh, Von J and Shaggy were asking me, is that one of our jerseys? And I was like, no, this is the one I personalized. I made it myself. So it had Juggalo Nation across, 17. It's got the Juggalo, uh, Juggalo symbol on the side. And when I turned around and I told them that that is my last name in the back, and it got Kissinger, 17 in the back, and Shaggy, uh, Shaggy was like, that's what he said. That's my name. That's my last name. So that's exactly what he did. And he was like, he said it. That's my last name. And Von J, he liked it too. And, um, and I told the guys that I'm looking forward to seeing them perform. And, um, and I also asked Von J of how the tour life has been because it's so damn good to see him back on tour. And he said it feels really good. It, and, um, and also the surgery he went through with, uh, to get a whole lot better and all that, I told him he looks good and he looks much happier than he ever has been. So I'm very happy for him. So um, love you, Von J and Shaggy. Love you guys. And I also got to smoke some weed. But the saddest part was I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep at all. So I stayed up all night. So I stayed up the whole day. So July 6th. So I was still awake. I didn't even get to sleep at all. And 
I was walking around and everything, and I went to um, the podcast event, and um, I did a podcast with my brothers, Deck One Dill, and I got to hang out with them and did some entertainment together. So it was a little, in, it was a little crazy, and um, the location that we had, there was hardly any space at all. We were right close to the stage, but we were done on the ground. We were on the ground while everybody, uh, there were a few podcasts on the stage, and we were right next to it, and there was hardly any openings for fans to come right in and listen to us doing the podcast and everything. And plus, one of my brothers did a little mistake. He forgot one cord to hook up to his little platform or whatever that does the sound effects and the microphones and all that stuff. He forgot one cord. So guess how we did it? We tried to do it with the Bluetooth, uh, the Bluetooth microphones that he brought over. So we did whatever it takes to make that work. So we did a little podcast at the tent, the podcast tent. And um, we didn't have that much of a good, um, um, how should I say it? Um, we did have a good time underneath the tent, but it was so damn hot. So we all decided just to walk around and take a tour. Just, uh, just walk through the Walked through the uh, Legend Valley and just went back to the parking lot and hanged out. So we did a little podcast, a little outside the tent, just walking through Legend Valley, through the gathering, and we ended up in the parking lot and we hanged out a little bit. So I really enjoyed that. So um, I got to hang out with my family, my brothers. And that, that just meant a lot. And... Um, we got to make some new friends and hang out with the family until, so I got to meet some new people and um, hang out with the family right before I St. Claude Posse performs. So right after I got done hanging out with Deck One Dale at the parking lot, I walked right over to the wet t-shirt contest. So uh, I got to see um, some juggalettes getting their, doing their whole thing in the wet t-shirt contest. And I don't even think it should be called as a wet t-shirt contest anymore. I think we should call it um, Jugglet Strip or something. I really don't know. Because uh, during this whole contest, it looked like a strip joint. They were getting down, showing off their naughty side. And I will admit it, I love boobs and pussy. And I just, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, these women, they're just so damn gorgeous and, but they are gorgeous in the outside, but the inside was more important to me more than anything. But it's, I will admit it is good to see women getting down and nasty by showing off what they got on the outside. But I just love, I just love their insides a whole lot better. And if I ever got to meet any of those type of juggle, uh, those jugglets on stage or whatever, I believe that their personnel will be more kick-ass than how they look on the outside. So I love my women and I especially jugglets. I love them to death. In St. Quan Posse did a hell of a performance and the aliens were taking over Earth. And I didn't even know that. It just came out of nowhere. And right on the stage... There was these aliens right on the stage and said that the whole Earth was taken hostage. And I didn't even care so much because um, I was a little high during the, the whole performance. So I didn't even care. I didn't care that the aliens were taking the whole Earth on hostage. But the only ones that could save us was in St. Clon Posse. So um, they said that in St. Clon Posse was deadly. But I didn't see them deadly at all. They rocked the stage. And and it was from all the love that that we gave in St. Claude Posse to set us free. So if we didn't love in St. Claude Posse, we, be, we will be taken hostage by the aliens. So as pretty much I would say that in St. Claude Posse saved us from the aliens. They just gave one hell of a performance and and especially when they performed um, uh, Pass Me By. And all the jugglers and jugglers got on stage. And it 
is a beautiful sight, and that's the only way to set us free. And, and St. Paul Posse did a hell of a performance that night on July 6th. That was freaking awesome. And especially on the last day of the gathering, they did a hell of a job. So this guy was freaking awesome. So uh, so uh, for for the whole thing of the of the aliens thing, I was just kidding about it. It was a great show. And I finally got sleep. So on the second day, I finally got sleep. So I just passed out. I passed the fuck out. So um, so I'm moving on to July 7th. So this is July 7th. I got to hang out at the gathering and I edited part one. So if you guys didn't even see part one of the gathering, you better check that out. So you better take a look at that. So you better watch it so you know where I'm coming from with the story. So part one has been published, so make sure to check that out. Um, a jugglet walked up to me and asked me to join underneath the shade. So it happened on the third on the third day of the gathering. I got to meet my first jugglet. She just came up to me and we just talked and everything and and she was very nice. She was very nice. She had badass tattoos and she had a beautiful smile and and she was gorgeous. But the saddest part is I forgot her name. She said her name a little bit too fast, so I didn't even catch it. So, if that jugglet that just met me, don't kill me for forgetting your name, okay? Because I gave her a flyer, so hopefully I hear from her sometime soon. So, um, so I gave her a flyer and I got a photo opportunity with her. So, um, that was great. And I did dress as Vinnie Mac Mysterio for the costume contest. And um, I think I pretty much sucked at the costume contest. But I did whatever it takes to entertain. But there was hardly any noise at all. But um, I got up there. I got on stage for the first time in years. It was my first time on stage. And it was my second gathering. And I had not been on stage for a very long time. And... That day, this day was the only opportunity to get on. So it was my first time anticipating at the gathering because of the first time, the first gathering, I didn't do nothing except enjoy the music and just just um, making a video out of it. But it got banned because it had a nudity in it. So I got kicked off on that. But um, so I hardly did much. So um, this is how I did it. I got on stage hyped. I took off my jean jacket, so I had the LWO shirt, I got the armbands, I got the LWO armband, Eddie Guerrero armband, and the hatchet man, the, the juggalo symbol wristband, a juggalo wristband, and um, I took the jacket off, I showed off my strong arm, so I did this, I did that, right on the stage, and... Um, and I grabbed the microphone and said, this is my second gathering and first time on stage. No matter what happens, I still feel like a winner. So that's exactly what I said. And Clown, uh, Clown Elbows, he was freaking awesome. And um, I gave him a fist bump and I told him it was great seeing him. And I had fun. And I gave him a whoop whoop right before I um, left off the stage at the end of the show. So I didn't win. But I did have fun. So at least I did anticipate. So I wanted to do something fun. So the costume contest, I did that. So you guys voted for Vinnie Mac Mysterio, and that's how I went by. So I didn't win, but I did have fun. So it was great getting on stage and, and just hang out with the family and all that. And it feels good to, to anticipate on doing something fun. I don't have to do it professionally, but I was thinking of doing that, but I just went out there and just had fun. That's what the whole thing is all about. I was not expecting to win at all. I did not expect to win, but I had a great time. So that was pretty much why I did it. I just want to have fun. So I got to hang out with Deck Wondell a little bit more before me, my girlfriend, Whitney Payton. I wish she was my girlfriend, but... It's the female rapper that I love so much. And just like Katie Trope, I love her too. And I also love Whitney Payton. So I got to see uh, Whitney. And 
And just like I said on the story, I love this woman. I hugged her and I asked her how the tour been and the gathering experience. She said it's great. She said uh, um, it is great to be back and she loved it and she told me how the tour is going and she's got the next trip coming up within a couple of days or whatever when she told me that. And I did not um, take up, a, I didn't want to take up so much time or whatever. So I got to talk, her a little, talk to her a little bit. And I told her that she did a hell of a job at the performance that she did at the gathering. And um, I got a photo with her. I got a photo opportunity with her. So I wrapped my hand around her, around her waist. And, oh my God. I was, I don't even know if she noticed that I placed my uh, little bit of my head onto her head. Because I was just so much in love with her. I was so, I was in love. And... And this woman, she just kick ass, and I love her personality and what she does, and I just wish I had a girlfriend like her, and bless her heart, with the whoop whoop baby, and um, and I told her that I loved her, and then right after the last time I hugged her, I told her that I loved her, and I watched um, Yellow Wolf and a Ouija Mac perform on stage and they were both awesome. So I told you about a Ouija Mac. So um, he was fucking awesome. They were both fucking awesome. JCW wrestling was good this year, but all the matches were cage matches. Every single one of them were. And, um, and the matches were extreme and badass. And I, and I pretty much smoked weed right before I fell asleep in the middle of the morning, in early morning. So whoop whoop to that. I got some sleep again. And July 8th, and pretty much the only thing, um, there were only two things that I wrote about. And um, so um, I watched the, the netting game. And there were five juggalettes and one juggalo looking for love. And I really like Juggalette number two and number five. If you saw the nut, the the Nutten game, girl number two and number five is who I like the most because they were beautiful women. They were so beautiful. Those are the two that caught my eye instantly. And the other women, they were they were very pretty, but um, I had my eyes locked in on number two and number five. So I was hoping for one of those two to win with a date with that juggalo that was on stage. So uh, they were both beautiful in my eyes. And the other juggalettes were pretty. And juggalette number two, she sure can dance. And that's what I like most about her. And my brother, Just Chris, won the, the Gather of the Juggalos 2023 Rap Battle. So congratulations, Jeff, bro. Whoop, whoop. You deserve it, bro. You deserve it. You deserve it. So that's for you, bro. So um, my gathering experience was, it just kicked ass this year, and I loved it. And it was a hell of experience. And I am looking forward to um, for next year. And um, it was a freaking blast. So, so everybody, I hope you enjoyed um, this podcast of my experience at the gathering. And um, this year kicked ass, and I'm looking forward to next year. So, um, so this has been Vinny Mac here on the the Gather of Thoughts special, and uh, Gather of the Juggle special. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today, and it was great meeting you all. That all that I met, and especially Deck One Delt. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I love you guys and every single one of you that ever got the chance. To hang out with me and also you guys watching right now and having me share my story. I love you all. Whoop whoop. And this has been the Gather of Thoughts. So be good. Love one another. And I'll see you next time. Getting that over and out. Peace. Whoop whoop.